You are my stars, you are my moon, you are my everything. And yet, there's something wrong. There is a throng of several folks who are upset. We can't move on, we can't grow strong, unless we share a mindset. To want now, to want here. Are the unsubscribers gone yet? Guess what, everybody? At long last, there is hope that we can all get along a little too well. Two Florida state senators appear to admit to a bipartisan affair. Oscar Brannion II is a Democrat and Anna Terry Flores is a Republican. And imagine one of them went up to the other and was like, Hey, I don't know about you, but my bi part is on. Uh-oh, maybe it's time you and I sign a discharge petition. I see you're for campaign finance reform. Shall we go down to the grassroots and have a landslide or up against the ledges later? Wherever, I'll bring the majority whip. I'll bring the gubernatorial incumbent. I don't get that one. Me neither, but it sounded dirty. <laughs> oh yeah, it did. And then they filibustered each other's budgets, filed a motion to recommit, and then committed a third rail of politics, and so on and so on. Proving to the world that you can bridge the partisan divide. Giving the country hope. Also, they're both married with children and it's a really terrible, terrible thing they did. Moving on. Follow up on yesterday's story about how Amazon is taking over every aspect of our lives right down to choosing what we wear. Jeff Bezos is now the richest person in history. His net worth has reached $105.1 billion. Billion! That's ridiculous! Assuming there's 7.5 billion people on Earth, he could give everyone Carry the three. Fourteen dollars. You could buy every person on earth two decent beers, like good local beers. But that includes children. If you have children, you get to drink their beer. And we just had a kid. Score! With that kind of money, you could start your own country. Fund your own army. You could swim in a pile of gold like Scrooge McDuck. Don't do that, though. I don't think that's physically possible. You could fund a weak daily one-man YouTube channel with double that money, if we achieve the vision that I'm having. Let's just say it would require a lot of plutonium and beer and alligators and carpal tunnel medication, probably. When asked to comment, Bezos responded. Actually, no one asked him for a comment. Interesting. If I had $105 billion. If I had $105 billion. I'd probably just make sure my investors are happy. Makes sense. And in final news, the book Fire and Fury is on the bestseller list. Not that Fire and Fury, although that one probably is too, but Fire and Fury, the Allied Bombing of Germany. It was written by a Canadian professor, and it's surging now in popularity because people are accidentally buying it instead of the Trump book. This proves one of my long-standing theories. People dumb. Oh yeah, and completely unrelated news, I should let you know I'm in the process of legally changing my name to Katy Perry Vivo. I've just always wanted that name since I was a kid. I mean, I just really look like a Katy Perry Vivo, you know? You can call me K-Vive, if you like. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you hated it, reconsider how you form opinions. Assuming Jeff Bezos won't be supporting me, you can support me on Patreon, where I do monthly live hangout, or punch myself in the face, or other perks. If you want to support me for free, just Facebook and tweet out this channel. Let people know. I think they'll like it. It's a pretty good time. Subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see more, or unsubscribe if for some reason you've stopped liking fun. I'm K-Vive. Thanks for watching.